There's a lot of pieces to this story. We can tell you that suspect is now in custody. We're live from the Purcell Police Department. We just received new information about this chase. This story just keeps getting crazier and crazier. So we're told, let's take a look at some video first. We're taking a look at video of the chase where it ended on I-35 northbound at about mile marker 99. You can see that beat up Purcell police cruiser. The suspect driving that cruiser all the way from Purcell up I-35. Again, just received some new information. We're told that this all originally started in Pot County, Pottawatomie County, where that suspect stole a vehicle, then drove that vehicle here to McLean County in Dibble. Dibble police found that suspect, placed him in handcuffs. The suspect was then able to steal a Dibble police car. We spoke with the Purcell uh, Police Department about how this all originally started. Let's take a listen to what they had to say. The subject was originally in custody in Dibble, and he was handcuffed. He managed to slip his handcuffs in front of him, and that's how he was able to get custody of the Dibble police car. And I was told when he was arrested here, he still was in handcuffs. Yeah, you heard it there. So he was in handcuffs when he stole a Purcell police cruiser. Uh, the officer uh, tried to catch him on foot. The suspect slipped around, able to get into the Purcell vehicle. Again, drove that vehicle from Purcell all the way to I-35. Eventually, officers able to do a pit maneuver on that suspect where he was placed under arrest. Again, facing multiple charges this morning. Just an oh, absolutely wild story to report this morning. Reporting live from Purcell, Zach Rael, KOCO 5 News.